Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tuner Tuesday. Today we are going to be opening Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR R34 from the movie Fast and Furious, which is the fourth installment. We have the 1 32nd scale and the 1 24th scale. And this one is the first release they did. Um, just a few other ones. Look at the 124th box. We got Brian Supra, the white one, Roadrunner, Charger, the Charger Bare Metal Edition, the Charger Off Road, Challenger Off Road, Camaro, Barracuda 350Z, which I do have a video on that one. Um, this one is Dom's Charger RT. This is actually a misprint, they never made it as the 124th um it's also on the 132nd right there i gotta look into it because i don't think that they made it for either model i think it was just a misprint on the box but we have uh, brian's r35 the blue skyline we're doing today the supra dom chevelle the hypersport and then the um other r34 that he drives in Too Fast, Too Furious. I do have a video on that one. So after this video, I'm going to be doing another video comparing these two skylines, see how they look together. So first off, we got the 132nd. So we'll go ahead and get this one opened and see what it's all about. All right, guys, and here we go with the 132nd of... Brian's Nissan Skyline R34 and we'll start it off with the item number as usual the box is generic they all say 24037 in order to find the correct item number you must look at the bottom which this one says 97185 97185 is the item number all right, and for the 132nd, all you get on it are the opening doors. All right, let's take a closer look. So the front end got the, R, the GTR logo on the grill. It's got plastic headlights, a little bit of paint for the fog lights or the corner lights. Um, the body is die cast, um, plastic grill, plastic base here, all the plastic base. It's got the chrome plastic rims with the rubber tires. And it's got a little bit of silver paint for the side marker. It's a nice blue, nice blue pearl paint job see all the pearl in it there this one does have little side mirrors which is a nice touch for the 132nd not all of them have them looking at the passenger side it's got the three nitrous tanks it's got a little bit of detailing where the dash is some gauges does have a roll bar which goes to the back there are back seats along with whatever that is in the middle. So there is the passenger side. And the same chrome wheel with the rubber tires. Okay, the back we got the clear red lenses for the tail lights the GTR logo on the deck lid and then paint for the reverse light and third brake light and then the Fast and the Furious logo on 
license plate, which is a sticker. And then we have the plastic, plastic spoiler, with a little bit of black detailing on the top. There's the roll bar again for the back. And that has single tip exhaust, which is just molded into the plastic base. Same rim on both. Has the little paint for the corner light. And let's take a look at the driver's side. So the whole inside is just the black plastic, no, no color. Um, you can see the pedals, steering wheel. Um, no shift knob on here. And they do put a lot of detail in it. It's just all, like I said, all one, all one color. Just the, just the plastic casting in there. Okay, it does have the side mirror on this side. Same chrome wheel. And then the hood's got that little little indentation. Next, I'll go ahead and open the 124th. We'll take a look at it and then we'll compare it to the 132nd. Alrighty guys, and here we go on the 124th. And this is the 124th scale of Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Go ahead and start it off with the item number. Item number 97173. And the bottom, so I've noticed with these Skylines, the other one was like this as well, they just have the generic um, model number. Um, this one does say the Skyline though for the movie. So, so the only way to find on this one the item number, which was the one on the box, so right there again. 97173 is the correct item number if you're searching for this model. And on the 124th, opening trunk, opening hood, and both doors, which is really nice. Alrighty, let's take a closer look. Start with the front end. It's got the GTR logo on the grill. It's got plastic clear headlights and the corner lights. The body is die cast along with the front bumper and all that. It's all one, one mold. It does have the plastic inserts for the grill and does have the plastic base. It's got the chrome, chrome plastic tires with rubber wheels, and it's nice because you can see the rotor and caliper through. And on this one, it doesn't seem like they have the deep dish on it. The rim, it goes in a little bit towards the middle, but otherwise it looks flush where the tire is. All right, so we got the paint for the corner light. Nice blue metallic. Okay, it's got the side mirror with the chrome chrome sticker. All right, passenger side. It's got the seat. Nothing on the dash, just the glove box. It's got a chrome shift knob. And the back is just rear seats, no roll bar, no nothing. And it does have the chrome rear view mirror up there as well. Alright, same chrome rim and rotors coming through. Okay, looking at the back, 
clear red plastic taillights, the GTR logo, Fast and the Furious sticker for the license plate, and then those are actually lenses, not, paint, not just the paint. And dual exhaust, chrome, going into the plastic base. And the spoiler is plastic, um, die cast trunk opening, nothing in there, just an open spot. But it does have the plastic spoiler with the, almost looks like a, it's supposed to be black carbon fiber. But it's got that little add of touch or add of tut add of color on the spoiler. So that's pretty nice for the back. Okay, going along to the other side, same wheel with the rotors, same paint for the corner market uh, corner light. Man, I can't talk today. And then we got the mirror and the, the sticker. And then the driver's side. Let's see what we got in here. Alright, so it's got chrome pedals. It's got a chrome um, tack up here. It does have stickers for the gauges. And then all the detail. You can see the seat belt, stuff like that. Rear seats. So nice detail on the on the inside. Right, back to the front wheel again with the rotors and a little bit of indentation for the hood, which I know he has that in the movie, so that's a nice touch. And then let's look under the hood. Oh yeah. And so far the two skylines seem to have the most detail under the hood. So it's got both a chrome strut bar and then both the motor has red paint on it and then it looks like a couple of the accents, hoses, stuff like that has a nice um, silver paint. So the engine on these are pretty detailed which are nice. Especially since it's the the Skyline model. Alrighty, let's take a look now at the 132nd compared to the 124th. Alright, I guess we'll start with the front end. Alright, just a couple things. The front end on the 124th has a lot more detail. Um, it's got the lens instead of just paint. It's got more detail on the front bumper to, to the indentations compared to the one. And also the, um, the shape. The 132nd is more round when the 124th has the lip for the hood here. It actually hangs over when the 132nd is flush. Okay. Sides are pretty good. The wheels are pretty much identical. Just a little bit more spacing on the 124th, which is normal. All right, and the inside, 124th has a passenger seat, nothing on the dash, and no roll cage when the 132nd has nitrous bottles a bunch of gauges and a roll bar and the 124th also does have the rear view mirror up there and the 132nd doesn't so that's on the passenger side inside is pretty much completely different so far the outside looks the same uh, the 124th has the lenses when the 132nd has paint. 124th has two chrome exhaust tips. The 132nd has one black plastic. And the wings do have both the same um, 
black accent. There's the roll bar on the 132nd, 124th has nothing. And the two sides again look the same. Just the inside I'm guessing is going to be different since the other side was. So the 124th has the chrome pedals and the tack. The 132nd is just all black. Um, other than that, it's about the same. A little bit different shape to the steering wheel. But other than that, it is the same. So that's the two of them. Um, the one thirty second has a little bit more pearl than the one um, twenty fourth. But other than that, there are the two models: um, one thirty second, one twenty fourth. So one of my nicer, um, nicer skylines. I like this model. Um, Jada did a good job on making it, so can't complain there. All right, guys, if you would like, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel as I do unboxing every Friday and Tuesday. Fridays is free at Friday, Tuesdays here, Tuner Tuesday. Um, in the comments down below, let me know if there's anything different that you've seen that I might have missed. I know collectors do like to see if there's different variations or whatnot. Other than that, also stay tuned. Um, after this video, I'm going to be uploading a comparison of the blue one compared to the silver and blue. So make sure you go check that out so we can compare what they look like together. Other than that, guys, have a good day. Bye.